He's a challenger. How did he become a challenger? I forgot. I think it's something that people got. Maybe for watching some event. Some tourney, right? Uh, this is uh, definitely one of the weakest opening hands I had so far. was for watching the challenger yeah right so open pass they probably can't improve upon this hand a lot bunch of peasants all right at least we can play this for some extra value so i guess that's that That actually limits my mulligans. I would love to mulligan to the bottom. Oh, wrong one. You'll regret your mum ever squirted you out. Uh, actually, we're gonna boost the trebuchet this time, so it's less likely that it dies. And not like we gonna mulligan on the way anyway. It's probably gonna be slave driver that goes away. Or maybe the archer. That's one of the better ones. Slave driver does have some versatility, but this could find extra value with your vet. I don't know, tough to say. A slave driver can also act as an opener. Well, something we play early. More like it. Archers are not the best at that. Okay, 11 point trebuchet. Maybe not gonna die instantly. Must still shut down. However, it baited out a lock, which might... We can actually unlock that, but would it be worth it? Considering that it's already half-life. Half-life free. Never mind that. So... <clears throat> Damn. Sometimes I just say dumb shit. Not, not sure why. Come on, let's go. Time okay, let's just play the way up. I think Adam should press the distribute drops, the chat button on his uh, Twitch dashboard. Yeah, yeah. I'm keeping it off uh, to myself, apparently. Uh, I think we need to blow that up. Actually... I gotta just go with Karen here. Guys, you just gotta be patient. Okay, Roach is dead. You deserve to die all and you will. Wow, okay. That was a pretty quick uh, value for your vet. I was wondering like, will I find your vet value? And I did. Dark clouds gather over Tameria. They can hide, but there is no escape. Wow. Okay. Great. So I guess I can just go dandy. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, Kian is not gonna play that anymore. To work! I never miss. Does it matter? I should probably hit the last throw in a way. That maybe not that way. So be it. In a way that uh, lacerate and exploding chick finds value. Big frog. I would like to copy that. No fucking hell. That that's a good unit. 
But if I copy it, we're just not getting anything. That's that's a good unseen elder target though. Let's see what we get. We might just go for the unseen elder move here. That's that's basically perfect right away. Ah, oh, what do I do? I think we need to look for some cards. Dealing damage doesn't matter. I guess I'm just gonna play the sapper. I can't kill that. And this is the last thing that appeared on the board as well, so I can't copy that. There's so much you do not see. We can actually play an ornamental sword. Which might find some guys that damage. Like, we can find the Bounty Hunter guy. May Freya choose the victor. Okay, that was insane. I just see. You have Lacerate, you should. You should have attacked one card to one trick your enemy of having Wondergrift. Uh, wait, what? What was the last card that hit the board? It was Trebuchet. Do I want to copy that Trebuchet? That's the question here. It doesn't give us a lot. I can't kill that Trebuchet. I can try to. Probably... Well... Thing is, if I play this uh, Dobatana Bomber, if I just replay it, I can't. I would only replay the bomb. I'm gonna play the trebuchet, unfortunately. Not ecstatic about that. Lacerate the bomb. We can't even do that. The bomb explodes fast. Well, what is it? Well. Uh, we have multiple plays. Either we play the Shrike and hope that it doesn't mess with the Lacerate and the Doblatana value. Or... Or play the Shrike a little bit later. Either we play the Unseen Elder a little bit later or play the Shrike a little bit later. I think it makes more sense to play the Unseen Elder uh, a little bit earlier. Yes, what is it? I'm gonna go for the last raid. A card that surprisingly uh, doesn't make a lot of lists. I shall not repeat the mere's mistake. Yeah, it's completely insane. Priceless. Yeah, those all have armor. I always find a way. I think I'm just gonna go for a strike here. It's pretty likely that we're gonna well, we can lose some value here. The back row offers the best value with the bomber. The back row is not affected by strike. So we're gonna strike. Alright. The bomber is insane. Have you nothing better to do? What? 
Okay. Fair enough. I thought he was trying to mess with my... Uh, my bomber value. This value is the bomb. Look at this. 7 plus 14. No, not 14. Only 13. But still a 20. 20 points! The chick is the bomb. GG. Bomb chick. Damn right. 20 points. The last year it was 18. The bomb chick was 20. GG. Could I help Arya you? Snark. The dwarf. Alright, this is a... Perhaps a slightly better opening hand than the one we had last time. Which is not saying a lot. Makes the most sense to play melee and siege in my opinion. I always do it. Yeah, because there are like effects like uh, White Frost that affect two adjacent rows. But there are not many effects like that. But I suppose you're right. If you're only playing on two rows. Pyrotech and Fall Ale. Oh yeah, Pyrotech could have been a card as well. Wrecking my draws. Well, there you have it. Always trick your enemy of having Wonder Griff, they will roast stack. What? That's pretty good. That's actually an insane target right there. So that's basically, it's treated as a 18, so we can play for like 23. The gate must be secure. Uh-oh. Your Gwantep is quite hard to read. It is? Uh, why? That's the first I hear of it. Wait, what? Oh, just some Guardian dude. Whatever. <laughs> you have my thanks. Why is this premium? P.I.S. of the Twitch chat, tell me, if the Lesser Guardian is not premium, and the Lesser copy of the Lesser Guardian is not premium, and the Joachim is not premium either, how is this guy premium? No, no, no. Oh, never mind that. His was premium. His original was premium. Never mind that. No P.I. work needed here. Case solved. Very small for me. Why I ask if you had a tutor for your potion? Ah, oh. okay. Well, it looks normal size for me. Like, are you watching on a small screen? Do you guys have a, this kind of issue as well? Should I make... Like, the thing is, I can make it bigger. But when I'm dealing with a deck that has more cards, then it won't fit. Okay, whatever, let's go with that. Does he have a Malena?
Everything is fine over here, part two. Not even watching in full screen. No, no, don't adjust anything. You'll mess You'll about with monitor. My monitor a bit. Oh. Okay, he went for that. He might have a... Well, we can play this. And this makes Lugos more of a tempo play. Looks like he has a Teruvial. So we need to consider that. Great. I can't shut that down. I can do my own Barbagazi. It's a bit weird. We might just throw away the Skellige Storm. There should be still card advantage. I'm really hoping you don't have that buffed up. Alright. That's fine. We don't get the carryover, but... This is fine. Yeah, obviously, we're bullying away that. Magnify Adam's beautiful hairless face. Should I have a bigger camera? It looks like most of the streamers have like a bigger camera than me. Also, they tend to like leaning closer. Not all of them, but some of them, I, I suppose. Not like I have it far away. Not like it's like at the... Other end of the room, it's just on a, on, a, on a monitor. Yeah, guys, worship me. Fish eye camera is the best. I should have a bigger beard. Damn. Come on, let's go. Time to face right. our fears. Full screen? Full screen face. Big camera, like them titty streamers. Damn right. Calm yourselves. Hmm. So we don't necessarily want to play shoop right away. We can bait with uh, Gremist. Let's see what we get. That's not great. <laughs> That's really not that great. Okay. They can Considering this, no escape. we're gonna hit this and hit that. So we set up uh, the Karen. Also, we have full less rate value on the uh, second and first row. Not much left of that world. And just put the camera completely covering the board, and we can follow the game by the voice lines and score on the left. Wait a second, where's Pikachu? He's fired! He did nothing! He, he had this chance! And he did nothing all along. Oh crap. That's actually... Pretty... Hmm... I don't know if I wanna go for the... The shoop. Shoop better. Shoop mage should have pretty bad options. So that's not great. I can go for some kind of better. Have you nothing better to do? Gramis is Probably gonna get the most value like this. Else, we are just playing Gremist as a bear, more 
basically. Also, he might think that's a bait. Damn. Okay. Uh, we're gonna eat that. 20 points. Honestly, Nether would love that. But I suppose the rain is gonna take some time to get value from. Askel is still looking for value. I ate the caretaker, just in case we need to target. Um, punchy guy, Dunar, here. AJ stole Pikachu after he found Adam's address on a large shipment of peanuts. <gasps> Just follow the peanut truck, guys. You'll find me. That would be crazy. You should just put a copy of the cam on each corner of the board. And o over each cart. <laughs> Sounds great. I'll play by Arya Snark. Well, she has a lot of good cards. Okay, we got a shoop. We might just go for that. Strength to south to 25. Fuck. We gotta do it. There's no way he has scorched, right? I think at this point we have to go big or go home. Rosette is not good enough. I killed for less. Okay, Rain is still giving us value, which is great. I, I suppose it didn't matter where we played Shoop. He's vulnerable to Scorch and Igni. We have a 12 point Lacerate in the back, but that's not the best with Esco. Okay, we got a 12 point Lacerate in the middle. So, what do I start with? I guess I can start with the Lacerate. The thing is, I'm gonna kill a unit and buy how I was playing. There's no way. He's gonna put it on the biggest row. <laughs> Holy crap. Not much love for bronzes, I see. GG.